the participation of women in entrepreneurship and other economic activities in Nigeria is said to be on the increase, but development activities have benefited only a small section of the women. A business growth as part is over Hakune was speaking earlier on our flagship business program, Business Breakfast, calling startups and individuals to reinstitute a proper organization and structure to attract the needed capital requirement to expand their operations. So in attracting viable partnership, the first thing is that you have to understand that your business has to have structure. And um, you know, when they say structure, a lot of people just go draw an organogram and then they are carrying it all around and say that's structure. That's not structure. In understanding your structure of your business, you first of all understand your vision of your business. You understand, okay, who are your target market? You have to make this business viable because I wouldn't want to partner in a business where I'm not seeing any future. Away from there now, the board is the most influential decision-making unit of an organization with responsibilities ranging from making key financial and strategic decisions to choosing the company's top executive uh, leadership. According to McKinsey and Company report, only 5% of professional women make it to top management in Africa companies. Speaking earlier on our flagship program, uh, Business Breakfast, a brand communications expert, for Lakemi Phillips, lay emphasis on the impact of women leadership on the board. It is very important that as a woman, you know how to be assertive as opposed to being aggressive, right? Um, understanding the numbers, understanding how to speak the language of business. There are industry keywords you really mm -hmm. need to latch on to and you really need to understand the numbers. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll give an example. So. We can say 2021 is like the year for women because, you know, the recent appointments, you know, in the banking sector, where we had the number of women rise through the ranks to become MD CEO, mm. you know, like Unity Bank, GTB, you know, and a host of others. You will see if you go through their profiles that, you know, they have, a lot of them have, um, certificates from business schools so it's not enough to um, stay in your corner and do your work you have to consciously go out to create this you know um, visibility for yourself mm. in the spaces that really matter mm. and when you link sponsorship right with understanding the, the language of business and being relevant mm. in industry specific uh, groups mm. you will see that it will become easy for women to practically rise through the ranks and now the federal government has upwardly reviewed the independent revenue projection for ministries, departments and agencies in the 2022 fiscal period by 754.31 billion naira. The 754.31 billion naira suggests an increase of 71.09% from the approved 1.06 trillion naira in the 2021 fiscal period to 1.86 trillion naira next year. The figures are incorporated in the 2022 budget proposal which was disclosed by the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed. About 122 agencies are obligated to pay their operating surpluses into the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the federal government based on the Fiscal Responsibility Act 2007. The Act requires government agencies to remit 80% of the RANO operating surpluses to the Consolidated Revenue Fund. Right away from there now, the Central Bank of Nigeria, uh, Mr. Godwin Mefele, has mourned that the country spent almost 40% of its insufficient foreign exchange on the importation of petroleum products as well as petrochemicals, which consistently put pressure on the direct exchange rate. Amifele made this known while speaking during a media briefing on the sidelines of the ongoing International Monetary Fund World Bank annual meetings in Washington, D.C. However, he spreads confidence that when the Dangote refinery and petrochemical plant begins operations by July next year, the country will be well positioned to be able to save 40% of the forex expand on the importation of petroleum products as well as petrochemicals. MFL also expressed that it will put the central bank in a better position to float the naira. 
And now the Department of Petroleum Resources, DPR, has implored Nigerians to be optimistic about the new Petroleum Industry Act, PIA, assuring that it holds the key to fully unlocking the prospects in the country's oil and gas resources. The director of the organization, Mr. Saiki Awalo, expressed his confidence in the PIA while speaking at the sixth uh, Trenia Branch Delegates Conference and Awards Ceremony of the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasin, uh, DPR Branch in Abuja. I will note that he had no doubt that the DPR, its successor agencies, the Nigerian Upstream Regulatory Commission and the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Regulatory Authority, will play an essential role in creating value and promoting growth in the industry.